Hello everyone, welcome back to part 10 of Alan Wake 2 playthrough. Jump into it. Okay, cool. So it did, it did start me after uh, that rose part or whatever that I did in the last one. The gates to the plot oh, side closed. story. I had a ticket. Grab whatever items I need. My subway pass. Well, there are station. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo. Something was here. A vision about to reveal itself. I needed to look at it from the right angle. Hmm. That place seems to be this angle, this general direction. I don't know how close we have to be or not, but... Inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. Being in like a <clears throat> subway station and hearing like yeah, Max Payne's voice essentially in the character model thread. is I such a freaking like... Write them into my story to create a uh, path deeper into the dark place. Kind of a nostalgia trip to Max Payne 1, because the similarities, but also just like, what's an Easter egg in a way. <clears throat> see. Things clicked into place. The story rang true. I was making progress. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. The Fed had glimpsed into the Maw of Darkness. It swallowed him whole. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. The blood trail continued deeper into darkness. Out of this thing just make like a made me U turn essentially, is that what happened? Subway. Pretty big area here. I have a couple light areas, I guess. We got ourselves a safe point here. Nice. There we go.
These arrows are all pointing this way and over here. And just climb over stuff in this stuff, so here's what I'm gonna have to do to get there. Check this side out real quick. It well. could not be opened on the side. I assume those are all kind of dead ends where they're the bounds of the dream, essentially. See, this thing is in the way either. Okay, here we go. This door is open. But this way. The tunnels were a maze. I hear they're all the pointing that way. Okay, so I actually need the light to open that area up. Curious if that's gonna that would eventually get me to this spot here. I don't see any other ways to get there. Yeah, let's continue on. I think we might be able to get that light right there. So I can't go this way. Let me go this way and see if there's a path. Forward. Another place to use in this story. Lapse tunnel. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. I had found another compelling location to use. I changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. The blood trail disappeared under the rubble. I had a feeling something was waiting there. Okay, we can open up another scene. At the right angle here. They had luck to be on his case. They had luck to be on his case. The cold can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Let the day shift handle it. What happened, anyway? Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap. A satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. that Let's see okay so this path is open now yeah part of it now we can get this light here it changed some of this area up a bit as well another echo lingered here a source of inspiration In here There we go. It's on the sun. There we go. was desperate and it felt right for the story Thank <laughs> you. 
trying to attack me. Oh, that's good to know. So it started me this far back. That's kind of crazy, to be honest. We have to go this way. We gotta redo all of that, I guess. Is there anything else back here? I don't think so, right? The tunnels were a maze. The blood trail led me on. Yeah, it's locked, I'm pretty sure. So I feel like some of those shack some use of those, those enemies are straight up just like I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. Some of the enemies are literally just basic enemies and then other enemies are story. Like they just disappear and other ones actually like turn into physical enemies and attack you. The federal agent had come here oh. looking for answers. All he found was a fate worse than death. It's bad luck to be on this case. The cult can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Let the day ship handle it. Hey, let me check these. I didn't even look at these lockers earlier. Understand it in order to change it. Be here. See. Word is your real word. I couldn't add a new element from here. I'd have to research and help. Okay, I don't. Is this back in that first spot that I was at? Finish this out, I guess. Me, what do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. The Wake was even involved somehow under a false identity, Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way, but I was desperate, and it felt right for the story. Finish this thing real quick and change it. Bad luck to be on this case. The cult. There we go. The cultist laid the Casey novel onto the altar with reverence. Their twisted Bible. Thank you. 
Up real quick. Very good inventory. There we go. There you go. Oh, I have right just this pistol, I think. Now and I have to repeat all that again. He disappeared, so he's not one of those physical ones, I guess. I could imagine this murder cult performing their macabre acts beyond the collapsed tunnel. Let me see here. This one of the spots I can use a flashlight in, right? The yeah, water was gone. The way forward was open. you don't remember again i know tim i'm remembering more now it's good to hear man how's your search for mr door going it's not great this dream we're in putting a lot of roadblocks in my way the sketch you have does look like the door i know the talk show host all i know is the door has something to do with what's happening to me And he knows that I know. He's like some sadistic mastermind torturing me. So you think this is a dream? I'm not ruling it out. You know, my dreams have always been incredibly vivid. They feel real until the second I wake up. You know, in the dreams, I'm often someone else different person with a different name living a different life in, in a different world alternate realities maybe but certain things don't change like the door more of a map Anything else of use in here? Wait, I think it's this way, right? Yeah. Initiation. Well, that's not very nice. That's one of their physical ones. Yeah, it 
it is. Okay, I think that takes care of him. Should be able to move on without an issue here. So we came across a safe one. So I think I'm going to end this part here. A little bit of a shorter one, but I think it's a good stopping point. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.